Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing a clean with me video because if you can't tell, my house is a mess. <laughs> we have been super busy this week. My husband started back to school. He's taken six classes, bless his heart, as well as working full time. I'm working full time and then I also am working on some side projects that y'all will be seeing coming up on the channel shortly. Um, but the house really needs to get back in order. It's just lived in. Y'all know that I've talked about before on previous videos that we bought an older home, 1950s model that needed some renovations. So you're seeing behind me just the craziness that's going on while we're doing that. We save up cash and we do them um, a little bit as we can. And as my husband has time to be able to do them while he's in school full time and working full time. So that being said, today we're just gonna get it clean, feeling a lot better at the house so that he's able to study and it doesn't drive me crazy. Um, to get started, I'm going to make a fizz stick. If y'all don't know what these are, they're amazing. I always drink them in a pretty glass because it makes me feel good. And why not have something fun while you're cleaning, right? So these have like ginger, um, green tea, ginseng actually, I think is what it has in it. Um, they're really good for you. Lots of B vitamins. Helps give you energy. They do kind of fizz, so if you decide to try them, you'll want to leave enough room in the bottle. You want to leave enough room in the bottle to be able to account for the fizz that it makes. And I just like to pour it in a pretty glass. So this gets me started for my cleaning for the day. So come along with me while I get started. Cheers. So I thought before we got started, you might actually want to see the house. We still are in renovation mode, as I've told you before. Um, and so you're going to see a lot of things unfinished. We save cash for all of our projects. And so you'll see that as we go through the house, there's a lot of things that are still unfinished, like our floors and our ceiling. And we're getting to that, um, but we just prefer not to do it with any kind of debt. And we save cash. And as my husband has time through school and work, we work on another project. So the house is a little crazy, but it's real life. And I value that because I don't want anybody to think that you have to expend all of this money. It's real life. I'm going to be honest with y'all on the channel. Um, it's perfectly livable. There's nothing wrong with it. And we just enjoy not having debt as we're going through all of our projects. We save cash as we save for that. The next project, once we get to the amount that we need and my husband has the time to be able to take off like in between school breaks or be able to take off in between his work, then we'll do another project. Um, but in the meantime, we just kind of live in it and it's been perfectly fine ever since we bought the house. You don't have to be Pinterest perfect. It doesn't have to be done immediately. Yeah, we could go take out a loan and complete all of this tomorrow and not have to live in a construction zone, but it's actually kind of fun and it's so exciting to see how far we've come and I'll share some of those videos with y'all as well so you can kind of see what we have done. So you'll see that our ceiling is not actually totally finished yet and neither is our floors. But there used to be, let me flip this around. So there actually used to be a wall here. And there used to be a wall that went here and split our kitchen from our living room and our living room from what's now our dining room. This actually used to be an, uh, a bedroom. Um, it was a very odd house when we bought it. And I really wanted an open concept house. We're in the process of saving for the floors to be able to do them. They're all going to be one stream of vinyl plank flooring when we're finished. Um, our living room, my puppies are asleep. <laughs> living room, um, we haven't really done a whole lot in here except paint and I put up curtains, but we're in the process. Our actual next project is putting windows all along these two walls to open up and let some more light into the house. We do have gas heat over here, which we plan to convert that into a fireplace eventually. So again, there's my puppy. So right now, you're just kind of seeing the in-between projects. And again, it's totally functional, totally, totally livable. We did put a new dishwasher in and I'll go over the kitchen semi-reno that we did. Because the there used to be a wall right here, we had an eat-in kitchen and my Hoosier cabinet that you're seeing was actually along this wall. But since that wall's been taken up, we don't have anywhere for it. And we're in the process of trying to figure out what to do with this. They're antique pieces, so I really like them and I'd like to keep them. But um, 
I haven't made up my mind yet. Um, my plan is to take the Hoosier cabinet and slide it to the side. We're gonna repurpose this odd window that was boarded up when they added on a garage to our house until we're able to totally redo the kitchen. It'll be a while for that. Um, but again, just making things work until we have it saved up. It does not have to be Pinterest perfect. So you can see the mess that the house currently is in now. It's just kind of set things down as the week progressed and the puppies are constantly dragging their pillows and blankets into the floors with their toys. My husband's school books, my books, coffee. So we're just gonna tidy up and clean and kind of spruce up for fall. every time that I try to make us a protein shake. So while I'm cleaning, I try to go ahead and fill those up and then that way if I'm out or almost out of one, I can go ahead and throw that away and get that clutter out of the kitchen. <laughs>
walk you around and show you what it looks like all tidied up and clean. So even though we're in the middle of many projects on the house, you can still have it clean and livable. Roxy says so. She's sitting on her throne. That is her normal position every day. Much better 